Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more FIFA 20 career mode here today on the channel. We're back with Season 2 of my Manchester United career series on Fiverr's Realism mod. Welcome back to the sensible, realistic, realism career mode. This is episode 28. In today's episode, we have an away match against Leeds. We have the Manchester United... Uh, Leeds Derby, we have the Roses rivalry, and then we've got Arsenal coming later up in the window. In the last episode, we managed to unfortunately lose against Bayern at home 2-0 in a simulation. We beat Wolves, we beat Man City 5-2 in the Cup, Bayern Munich away 3-2, Sheffield, and then we lost to Chelsea as well. So that's what's going on at the moment. Guys, if you still are enjoying this series and want to ensure more content, the best thing you guys can do is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, let me know in the comments, feedback and suggestions for the series and players you would like me to sign. Up against Leeds, we're going to be playing our strongest first team. Sancho, Rashford, Oyazabal leading the line. Fernandez, Pogba, Ndidi in the midfield. Juan Basaka, uh, Ruben, Maguire, Alaba, and De Gea in goal, Milik, St. Maximin, Bernadeschi, Zielinski, Klostermund, and Lascelles, and Henderson making up the defensive line. Actually, that shouldn't be Lascelles, should it? It should be Lindelof, because he had an injury, but Lascelles is actually a bit more fighting fit. We do need a backup centre-back, I might actually be better off to go with Lascelles. It's because of this midweek match, it's made everyone a little bit exhausted. But, let's get stuck into the massive derby. It's going to be a cracker. We'll play with the red if they're going to play with their white kit. We're playing at the East Point Arena on Ultimate Difficulty. Away, it's raining. Oh. So guys, if you still are enjoying this career series and want to support and help out the channel, I do have a Patreon and membership page in the description below, YouTube membership. Completely optional, of course, but it helps out the channel, I just thought I'd let you know. But uh, just supporting the series is enough. Okay, let's get stuck into leads. So it's a derby, so the AI is going to be really tough on the realism mod. But, like, derbies get buffed up along with, like, home victories and stuff. If you want to download Fiverr's Realism mod, you just need the copy of FIFA 20. I, I have it on Origin on PC. And then you can just, uh, depending on the cycles and stuff, you can get the mod for free sometimes. Or you can get early access if you subscribe to his Patreon, which I do. Okay, let's get stuck into Leeds. Crazy that Leeds and Birmingham and who was it? Preston got promoted. I still don't kind of believe it. So they're playing a 4-2-3-1. Big Patrick Bamford up front. <laughs> okay. So they have Casilla in goal. Oh, I think that's a former Galactico. Did he play for Espanyol or Villarreal? I can't remember. Yeah, I reckon name's Casilla. I recognize the name. Uh, Shackleton is playing right back, even though he's a CM. Barradi, Liam Cooper. For sure. Uh, don't recognize that guy, but I'm assuming he played for like Florentina. He's probably all right. Uh, Tyler Roberts and Pat Big Patrick Bamford up top. But this is what we want in the Realism mod. Leeds to come back up. And uh, let's get stuck into them. We've got Arsenal away. So we're currently sitting around about 20 points in the league. We're a little bit far behind the pack. We've had five losses, which is quite crazy. Sittings last year we only had one, but we had seven draws, which is quite a lot. The main objective... Oh, we're getting a bit close down here with Maguire. I'm trying to build something out from the back. I'm going to have to go aerially here. Ah, there was too many of them pushing too far forward there. Leads on the break here. Good tackle by Maguire. And we'll try and create a counter-attack. Whoa, why did Sancho put that so far out in front of him? What? This is my first match of today. So, if things go bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> this is... For me, my warm-up match. Ball comes in. So, we'll see how we sort of go. But, yeah, nothing like having a Leeds. Oh, no, that's in. That's a goal. Far out. Leeds are away here. One goal just before the 10th away. Ah. Well, I'm playing with the first team as well. We should be doing a lot better than this. Oh, let's try and create some space and go. Yeah, we seem to be getting closed down a lot. I'm just trying to create some space where I can. Indeed, he dodges the tackle there. Or he has a ball. Trying to find Juan Basaka. Oh, nearly gets the ball in though. Yeah, so as long as I make Champions League football, I'll be happy this year. League-wise. Yeah, there's the Champions League. Work. Oh, oh. Pogba, you got to be doing better than that. A really great interception. And Leeds are hitting on the counter-attack. 
Yeah, the way we have to rotate in the Champions League for the Prem. Oh, come on. Someone make a run. Fernandez. Rashford now. Has to go for goal. It's a good save. Really good save by Castilla. I don't think he normally plays for Leeds. Let me know in the comments, you Leeds fans. But I don't know if he does. That's a really good signing that they have. I can't remember who exactly played for in Spain, but I think he was like Real's like third choice goalkeeper at one stage. I just have a feeling. I have an inkling. I recognise the name. Oh, we're away here though. It's United on the break. Sancho. Oh. I thought closing things down might have made his shot a bit better, but it's being blo blocked. A couple great opportunities here for United. Oh, it's Rashford. Ah, uh, couldn't get the follow-up. Something like that again is probably good, but a bit more sort of pace on it. Comes in. Hearn there. We have not been incisive whatsoever with our corner kicks. Maguire. Oh, wow. Spilled that out. That's real bad. And Leeds trying to bring it out from the back now. 1-0 down. We can still come back into this match if we're a little bit more clinical in our final third. We're getting the opportunities, but we're just not sticking it into the back of the net. And Leeds trying to build something up here. A great ball over the top. David Alaba wins it back slightly there. Sancho just trying to make a 1-2 pass. Oh, he has a ball now. Who cuts back. Only as far as wan -Bissaka. He's got to finish this. He got a huge deflection there off Cooper. What a strike in the end. A stick of dynamite by the right back there. Oh, the boot came out and made it look probably a little bit more incisive than probably what it was. Ball comes in. Has to come out. Ah, uh, Tyler Roberts there is going to deal with that all day. And we're sitting with probably too many players back there, to be honest. Ruben Diaz and Didi waiting for support. Ah, leads the defense. Like, their control of the midfield is so good. Aerially now has to be dealt with. Far out, mate. Yeah, they're just stacked in the midfield and we're kind of not coping with it well. One now, one nil down against Leeds is actually quite embarrassing, but you never know what can happen on this difficulty. Yeah, now we go. It's also in the rain. Oya's the ball on the break. Chops. Holds up. He's got to finish this. <sighs> what a block. Like, I don't know what I can do about that. Beats two. Just needs to be that last defender. And it's blocked really well. A lot of good chances here by Manchester United. We really should be drawing 1-1. There we go. And all the balls away here. Oh, Bruno's turned his man. Good block. You can't go back to the keeper like that. Oh, Rashford turned, but lost possession quickly. Dude, is this guy a right back? Why the? Why is he playing there, doing like that? He's like a CM. Leads. Pushing for the second. Wow. How has indeed he let that one go? Ball comes in. What? That was button delay there, I think, over anything. Bamford. Good tackle. Oh, come off it. We got the ball. It's going to be a free kick here for Leeds. Oh, no. Come on. We just need to go Pogba. Oh, Bruno's offside. You could have waited, Bruno. Oh! No, it's going to go out. Okay, let's make some substitutions. Let's bring on 
Uh, Bernadeschi. Let's bring on... Uh, Milik. And let's bring on Zelinski for Pogba. Get some fresh legs into the squad. Mix things up a bit. And we'll put Rashford on the left-hand side. Being able to, like, stick it into someone like Milik might actually work a bit better. Getting it to the byline. It's... Oh, it's a bad ball. I really shouldn't just do aerial balls. Normally in other FIFAs, that might work. They might be able to get up to something like that. Oh, great stuff by Zielinski. It's Milik now. Yeah. But it's been closed down so well. We need to be super in the box before we even attempt a shot. Bonadeski coming out for it. Going aerially. David Alaba's intercepted that. Rashford goes at the back. And we'll try and build this up again. Bernadeschi now. He's just going to have to go for it. He's overlapped. Rashford here. Bernadeschi to Marcus. Rashford! It's a goal. Manchester United are not down and out for the count just yet. It's 1-1. Marcus Rashford. Scores just before the 74th minute. Come on, United! Bernadeschi on the overlapping run from central midfield. Puts a nice left-footed pass. And clinically, Rashford finishes it in the rain. But it's 1-1 against Leeds. Come on. We're Manchester United. I think Leeds haven't even won a game all season. They sit rock bottom. But our Premier League form has really just gone to absolute craziness. If I do say it's in DD here now. To Bernadeschi. It's Bernadeschi! Oh, can he get the second? It's a pen! Milik. Oh, no. Oh, spilling everywhere. United should be winning this. This is so unlucky. Leeds have defended so well. Good header. And again. Come on. It's Bernadeschi. He gets blocked. I was trying to just keep on progressing forward if we could. They're sitting so deep. It might have to be Zelinski. It's Zelinski! The former Napoli reject. Oh, wow. 2-1 for Manchester United. Signing for a super cheap fee. Went all the way there. Oh, excellent stuff by Milik. Trying to open up a chance there. It's Zelinski to score his first Manchester United goal. I kind of wish Zelinski and... Bruno Fernandes had their faces, but not bad. The two Napoli boys come on and have probably saved this match here. I can't recommend looking at transfer listed players enough. We got them so cheap. Now, I really do like them, but if an offer comes in for like 60 mil for someone like Zielinski, I I could very well accept it and make a really good fee. And then you go on and sign someone like an Ndombele. No, they're in here. Oh, Leeds are going to score. <sighs> that, that had a 90th minute equaliser written all over it. Come on, Milik. Keep on going. It's a great opportunity. I just got closed down. It's Sancho. Ah, oh, again, Leeds. What a tremendous backline, and somehow Manchester United, after conceding the early goal, have managed to claw back the three points in this one. Okay, good. We've got the winning mentality to come back here. 11 shots to 10. Yeah, we created so much against Leeds there. That was a close one. Uh, Everton smashed Birmingham. Watford, West Ham draw, and a 2-2 draw for Bournemouth and Brighton. All right, we face the Gunners next. Okay, it's not a way. It's actually at Old Trafford we face the Gunners, which is good. So, let's have a look at the Premier League table. So, Liverpool are first. Chelsea second. Man City third. We're currently in ninth. However, it's not as it's not as big as a gap as what you would think. There is only one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, there's only six points between first and tenth, which is crazy. So, basically, Everton, Leicester, Arsenal, they're all getting wins and draws all throughout. I think Liverpool only had two losses last year. Man City, probably only the same. So, it looks like the mid-table, like what you consider top five, top 
10 last year, except for like there was a clear distinction between the top three in myself, Man City, and Liverpool. But we've lost four, and we only lost one last year. We drew seven. We haven't drawn, though. So there's that going forward. So basically, these top sides are really trading quite well. So if we can beat Arsenal here, we can actually go ahead of them uh, to sixth, I think. That's probably sixth or fifth, depending on the Leicester result we could go to. So still very close here. Looking at December, uh, well, next up we got Olympiacos, then we got Watford. Uh, December looks kind of crazy. We've got uh, Wolves in the Cup. We're about to wrap up our group stage, which we are currently leading. We've got Liverpool there as well, and Leeds again. And then we have the January transfer window. Um, I will look at transfer listed players. Oh, Aubameyang joined Madrid. That's cool. But I don't particularly think I need anyone just yet. Look, we'll have a look at transfer listed players, but let me know in the comments. Should I bring in some more reinforcements in January? I personally don't think so. We're going to play with the first team again. Um... I could maybe play Grealish instead of someone like St. Maximum, but he's so rapid. Like, look at his... Like, he might not have the shooting, but he's got the pace and speed. Like, that's what you want from someone like St. Maximin. Bernadeschi's up there as well, so Grealish couldn't replace him. And Zielinski is, like, our only proper central midfielder that we have. Someone like a Paul Pogba. He's, he's actually all right going forward from what we've seen. Dan James has picked up a small injury, so maybe one more central midfielder. Maybe one. Just in case we get an injury... Oh, I also forgot as well. We're coming back from our hiccup. Actually, I'll just chuck a save. Yeah, just want to do a quick save uh, before we play this match, actually. The point I was... Actually, I want to go back a couple more things. The point I'm trying to make is... Yeah, we forgot that Dave had his five-week injury, which in hindsight now wasn't as bad as what it could have been. We actually picked up results a lot. Uh, let's have a look at the top goal scorers. So Firmino's there. Jota. Calvert-Lewin. Really? Cavalon scored nine. And Rashford's our top goal scorer. Um, I could actually look at our stats. Because Cavalon was transfer listed. We could have brought him in. So Rashford with 12, Greenwood with 8, Oya's a ball up there. So we. So, um. Yeah. Maybe we need to play Milik more in the second team. But I use him as a striker coming off quite often. Hmm. Because Rashford really carried us last season. Big time. It's great to see Oya Zabal getting up there with a couple of goals. Here's Arsenal's new kit. We'll let them play in the yellow. I quite like that. At Old Trafford, ultimate difficulty in the rain. We're just missing like Agalo's 15 goals. Agalo was so good. So, so good. Yeah, so maybe I need to play. Because we're in a, we're in a different... We're in an interesting situation because we've got to rotate Milik and Rashford. But Rashford t tends to... Um, actually be able to play the full 90 depending on what we tactically need so I want to try and give Greenwood as much time as possible because the dude's got just he's just an insane football player in real life and in FIFA he's so so good so we can't not give him game time but then we need to rotate well as well it's great to see Oya Zabal finally get up in and sort of back to the Prem sort of adapting to it you could say Martial who left in a swap deal. He's at Real Sociedad. I'm still keeping an eye on his performance. But he didn't score any goals in 20 games or something insane. And then at the end of the season, after 30, he only scored one or two. Um, so, Arsenal are playing a 4-2-3-1. Interesting. They haven't evolved. They haven't developed or transferred their squad. Leno in goal. Bellerin, Luis, and Socrates. Very poor backline. Turney. They do have Mascarella, so I've got to give that to him. Torreira. Or Torreira. Uh, Pepe, Saka, Urzel, and Lacazette. Okay. Well, let's get stuck into Arsenal. So, it's kind of interesting to see that, honestly, looking at this Arsenal squad, they've actually de-evolved. Like, Arsenal haven't played Urzel as a proper 4-2-3-1 cam in so long. Like, only once or twice from what I can remember last season. But... They sold a Bamiang to Madrid, by the look of it. Trying to push forward there. Hector Bellerin with a good haircut. So we need the points here against Arsenal. We're at Old Trafford. We've got a team fighting fit. Oh, that could have been great from Rashford there. Looking to slip Bruno Fernandes. So I don't know what they've done with this mod. They basically add animations for passing. Now, normally you can do, like, cheeky 
Oh, good stuff, Juan Basaka. He's only just put that one out. That's unlucky. Yeah, you do these, like, skillful flicks and passes, but I guess they've binded the pass button to that, so I actually don't necessarily like it all the time. And we'll try and go here on the left with Pogba. David Luiz is going to try and contend with him, but Pogba's going to burn him. Just the way Pogba's going here, he might... Oh, he somehow burnt Hector Bellerin. Pogba trying to get the last ball in. Ah, it's unlucky. Man, Pogba probably expended way too much energy on the wing. But he seems to be just running the show here in this match. Couldn't get a favorable flick on. We seem to have the home crowd stats and momentum and energy because I don't think I've ever seen Paul Pogba run that quick before. It's nuts. There's no way he was doing that away against Leeds. Arsenal trying to build it up on the right-hand side here. They found Ozil. Oh, I was trying to get to Ndidi before they even got in the box like that. Arsenal looking to deliver that final ball in. It's weighted quite lightly, but we're going to try and counter-attack here. wan -Bissaka can't even get the pass off there. And Arsenal again. Good stuff by Pogba. Oh, good stuff. Come on. Come on. Oh, he has a ball. He put in the tackle. He just needed the follow-up. And again. wan Indeed, Indeedy. Oh, there's so much space there. With Bruno Fernandes. We've got to score this one. It's Bruno Fernandes. 1-0 just before the 30th. I could have absolutely blasted it with him. But Bruno Fernandes makes it 1-0 on the counter-attack against Arsenal. He's taken a touch. He's finessed it into the bottom right-hand corner. And that's magnificent. Bruno Portuguese Magnifica. Mwah. Come on, United. Okay, we just need to hold on to this lead. Arsenal trying to play it around from the back. I don't know why wan is so out of position there, but Saka has cut him there. Pogba's just trying to put some pressure on him. Oh, that's not bad. Come on, United. Oh, that's a good ball. That's a second good ball. And now we'll try and counter-attack. Good flick on by Bruno Fernandes. Sancho's been probably caught there. Oh, I actually went to fake shot in DD. Mm. The rain maybe put it way too far in front of me. Good stuff by Nicolas Pepe. Pogba. Maguire held well. Good stuff by Maguire. We're getting some excellent tackles in here in DD. Rashford. To Oya Zabal. Ah, oh, Tierney's caught him. I should have just gone straight through the center because... I don't think David Luiz nor Socrates probably would have caught that. I see. Oh, that should have been so much better. I actually picked the gap between Alaba and Pepe. Pepe, Arsenal's top goal scorer here. Looking to get into the box. They've been putting some great balls in, Arsenal. Mascarella. No. Oh, thank God for that. Dave, man, you're sloppy. That brings up that conversation again. Like, thank the Lord that Saka was only like a 75 rated. And that header hit the damn bar as well. So close. But 1-0 for Manchester United. We lead going in at half time. We hold the gunners off. They've had some great creativity in the final third. But they've looked a bit toothless. While we have converted very limited number of chances, I just want to try and create a bit more. Like, they've been, like, putting a lot of aerial balls in, which don't overly tend to work. But have looked a lot more, you could say, pragmatic in their attack than we have. I just can't seem to get the ball off them. They're passing us off the ball big time. Oh, no, they might be in here because they've slipped too many. They probably should have scored there. That's a great save by David De Gea. 
Looking to get the ball in now. Sancho. Far out. We got a counter attack here. Alaba. Looking to switch it. Ah. I just got so close down there on that left hand side. Pogba. Roaming to get back. Good stuff. You should have stayed on your feet though. Um, I somehow intercepted that. I don't know how. Fernandez. A lot of runners ready to go. Oyazabal finds Wambasaka on the overlap. Just trying to get some passes into the box here. It's Sancho. He scored it. should have scored that. That's some great football there by United. I'm not even going to lie. Ball comes in now by Bruno. It's low, but it still might be able to work on something. It's Ruben Dias. Trying to find Pogba. The ball goes aerially, and it's been sorted out by Arsenal. And Saka looking to break. Saka, Saka. It's just the R's. I don't know. I say stuff differently because of my accent. I'm a weirdo. I know. And also, when I try to... I've also got like... Oh, no. This thing where I try to say it as an accent... And I go back and forth inconsistently. Pepe there. Good stuff by Alaba. Pepe still on here. Maguire snuffed that one out. Okay. Bernadeschi. Yeah, look at this Rashford. Rashford's just got so much stamina. He can keep on going all day. Um, oh, yeah. I'll, swing the, I'll switch this. Do I bring on... I could go with someone like St. Maximin up top. Like, he's got the pace to just absolutely run past people. But Milik's actually not too... Milik doesn't have the pace, but he's, actually got, he's got crazy shooting. I might just go with Zielinski. Zielinski for Pogba seems to be... Like, obviously Pogba has the, the height and the interceptions. But Zielinski is actually really great on the ball. I think it's going to be a goal kick out here, though. We'll go short to Ruben Diaz. Now, I know you're never meant to cross goal like that, but sometimes I think it's worth the risk. Oh, that's crazy from Diaz there. That should have been an interception by Arsenal. Milik, Bernadeschi over the top to Marcus Rashford. If it wasn't in the rain, we might have got something from that, but it just skidded way too far away. We'll try and get Rashford to come back. They've actually crossed the wings there, which is interesting. I'll try bring on someone up to it if I can. They're just trying to pass me around here. Great ball. But it's been snuffed out. Sancho. We just need one more to put this match without a shadow of a doubt of a United victory. Zielinski. I see the run of Bernadeschi. He shoots. He scores. It's Bernadeschi. 2-0 for Manchester United. And the Italian rejects link up so well. I'm so happy that Syria was like, look, you know what? We do not like Bernadeschi. We do not like Milik or Zielinski. Get out. And they are just tearing up the Premier League. We bought him for £21 million. He was meant to be the replacement for... Andreas Pereira, the number 10, Bernadeschi, has scored crucial goals in the Premier League and in the Champions League. I'm so happy with his performance. He played well in the Europa League as well. Bernadeschi starts off with his first goal of the Premier League as well. He can actually come right-hand side if he needs to as well. I can't recommend if Bernadeschi gets transfer listed in, what, the first or second season? You can pick him up for an absolute bargain. But he's the type of player, I've signed him in career modes before, if you play, pay him at full price, you can get him for like 38000 or you can even sell him for that. Great acquisition by United. We have to go with realistic signings. We can't pay full price for anyone. Like someone like Ndombele would be an awesome signing if Spurs just wanted to rip the band-aid off with him and, and, and sell him to me for someone super cheap. But we went with... Oh, great stuff there by Ndidi with um, Bakayoko for 16 mil, which is basically a more defensive 
minded. But probably the thing is with Ndombele, he's actually so creative going forward. He spurs his record signing. He's got a good engine on him. But I probably would have played him more defensively alongside Pogba. If I'm being honest. Bernadeschi keeps it in. Trying to get the follow up with him. Oh, it's Milik. Nah. I wish, like, there was more robust chemistry in career mode that you could see. Or maybe even, like, a language chemistry as well. Because realistically, uh, we've won there 2-0, though. Seven shots to five, come on, United. Like, for example, Zelinski and Milik, who are both Polish, they should have a really good communication wavelength. And because they both played in the Italian league, Bernadeschi should have a link with that. Like, imagine if it went in that in-depth, like in Football Manager. Because that is, you can send people in on intense cr training courses, which is nuts. Okay, well, guys, on that note, it's time to end the episode here. Thank you very much for watching. We've got a match coming up against Olympiacos and Watford away. Okay, so we'll try and simulate some matches towards the end here. We'll just see how we go. So, basically, now, we lead the Champions League by two points in Group D. Leon's just behind. Olympiacos there. We face them at home. We've already beaten them away this season. We're going to be using our second team, the 4-2-3-1. Greenwood, Grealish, Maximin. Uh, unfortunately, James is injured, so Bernadeschi is going to have to come in. And, hopefully, this team with the 4-2-3-1 formation should be enough to dispatch Olympiacos at home. 4-0 for Manchester United. Rashford comes off the bench and picks up a brace, while Bernadeschi continues on with his Premier League form after scoring the earlier goal. Uh, has scored twice in Europe. So we've got an away match against Watford here, and now we currently sit 5th with 27 points. So we're only 2 points behind. Where are Watford? 13th. Because we, just looking at December, it's actually quite stacked. That's the thing. So Watford. We can play the second team against Bournemouth. Everton away. I might play that one. I think that's probably the one to play. But then we've got Liverpool. Because um, that's a dead match as well. Seeing as we just beat Leon. We've got Leicester at home. We could play that instead. And we've got Leeds again. And then we've got a week of January. February's quite easy. March is hard. Maybe Crystal Palace as well. Yeah, so, um, first team, second team, first team. Yeah, so let's actually play the first team. The first team should be able to dispatch Watford quite easily and the substitutions as well. Yep, so we'll let the first team simulate it against Watford. Away, down in London. Watford look like they're going to be nailed to get relegated this year. 2-1. Oyo Zabal picks up two, but unfortunately there, Maguire's picked up an injury. That's what you get for simulating Simpsy. You get more injury woes. How long's he out for? Eight weeks. Crikey. Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Um. Oh, no. We've had some real bad injuries this season. Like, real bad. So, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, he's not going to be back till January. Oh, that, yeah, that's two months, basically. Oh, that's real bad. We're missing our captain as well. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not enjoying the series, feel free to leave a dislike. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box these days to get all the notifications for the channel. You have to click subscribe, of course, and the bell to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. If you guys want to get yourself some cheap and reliable games, maybe some PSN and Xbox codes to buy packs for Ultimate Team, or maybe just some games, I really do recommend checking out my affiliation link, G2A. There's some really good prices, so even just going looking around, to be honest. Anyway, uh, the Patreon Sting Group there as well. Come and join the community on Steam. My name has been Simpsy. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Goodbye. Mares. Whips it into the box. Royce! That is just ridiculous. With the layup, Marco Royce.